CBSE Class 5 Science Work, Force, Energy, and Simple Machines Force A force is a push or pull. It can help us to do the work. It brings the change or tries to bring the change in the state of motions. Force may be of various types for example, mechanical, gravitation, magnetic, frictional, electric, and buoyant force. Work Whenever an applied force is capable to move an object on which the force is applied, the work is done. No change in position means no work. Work is measured in joule, which means the object is displaced by one meter with one newton force. Simple machine. It is tool that makes the work easy. For example, lever, pulley, wheel and axle, inclined plane, screw, wedge, lever. A lever is a simple machine. It is a rigid rod that turns around a fixed point called fulcrum. It consists of fulcrum, load, and effort. Levers classified into three kinds according to the position of fulcrum, load, and effort. First class fulcrum between load and effort. For example scissors, claw, hammer. Second class load between fulcrum and effort. For example nutcracker, wheelbarrow. Third class effort between load and fulcrum. For example finishing rod, broom. Pulley. The pulley is a wheel with a grooved around its rim. The wheel turns around an axle. A belt or string fits into grove. There are two types of pulleys, a fixed pulley and a movable pulley. The pulley used for drawing water from a well is fixed pulley, movable pulleys along with fixed pulleys are used to lift woods. Wheel and Axle The wheel and axle consists of a wheel attached to a smaller axle so that these two parts rotate together in which a force is transferred from one to the other. Inclined Plane an inclined plane, also known as a ramp, is a flat supporting surface tilted at an angle, with one end higher than the other, used as an aid for raising or lowering a load. Screw A short, slender, sharp-pointed metal pin with a raised helical thread running around it and a slotted head, used to join things together by being rotated so that it pierces wood or other material and is held tightly in place. Wedge a wedge consists of two inclined planes that meet at a sharp edge. Energy Energy is capable to do the work. Energy is neither created not destroyed but only transformed in another form. Total energy is always fixed. Renewable source of energy, which are constantly replenished by nature for example, sun, wind, and water. Non-renewable source of energy, takes millions of years to be formed. These sources of energy are called non-renewable source of energy for example fossil fuel, petrol, diesel, these are limited in amount and will be exhausted one day. Work When a force is applied on a body, it may or may not move. If the applied force is sufficient to move the object from one place to another, it is said that the work has been done. If applied force is not sufficient to move the object from one place another, then no work has been done. Energy is the capacity to do work. Whenever an applied force is capable to move an object on which the force is applied, the work is done. A boy moves a chair from one place to another by applying force, that means the work is done. The same boy applies a force on the wall to move it from one place to another and wall cannot move, hence, no work is done. Force A push or pull acting on an object is called a force. A force can be used to move a stationary object, stop a moving object, make a moving object move faster, slow down a moving object, change the direction of a moving object, change the shape and size of an object. Type of force. There are different types of forces. Muscular force. When something has to be pushed, pulled or lifted, muscular force is applied. Gravitational force. Because of gravitational force, we are able to stay on the ground. Frictional force. Frictional force slows down a moving object. Even frictional force helps us in walking. Elastic force. 
A stretched rubber band regains its original position on being released because of elastic force. Elastic force arises when a baby deforms. Mechanical force simple tools makes use of mechanical force. Mechanical force. Simple tools makes use of mechanical force. Buoyant force. The upward push of water on a floating object is called buoyant force or up thrust. If we push a mug or a piece of wood, we can feel an upward thrust. Energy. We require energy to do work. We get lots of nutrients from plants and animals which are the source of energy. These nutrients in our body is digested and give us energy. A small animal like us cannot carry load equal to the load carried by an elephant. Hence the energy is the capacity to do work. Every movement in our universe is carried out by the consumption of energy. Therefore, we need different forms of energy to do various types of work. Heat energy is required to boil the water. Our voice and sound produced by the different objects possess sound energy. Mechanical energy is required to lift and or move an object. We use muscular energy to move our body. A bulb in our house works on electrical energy. Mechanical energy is further divided into two groups, kinetic and potential energy. Kinetic energy. The energy that an object possesses by its motion is called kinetic energy. A stone thrown on the glass breaks the glass due to kinetic energy. A ball hits the stamps due to the kinetic energy. Therefore, a moving object possesses kinetic energy. Kinetic energy of a moving object is depends on the mass of the object. If the mass of the object is more, it possesses greater kinetic energy. If we throw an iron ball slowly on a soft piece of land, the ball will float on the surface. If thrown fast then the ball will dig the land and will enter into the lower surface. Hence, the kinetic energy of an object is dependent on the speed of the object. Potential energy When a body is placed at certain height from the surface of the earth, the energy it possesses is called potential energy. The formula to calculate the potential energy is m multiply g multiply h. Where m mass of the body, gravitational pull by the earth and h height of the body from the surface of the earth. Therefore, the potential energy of a body depends on the mass and height at which the body is placed from the surface of the earth. The potential energy will increase on increasing the height from the surface of the earth and also the mass of the body. In the above picture a ball of mass m is placed at the height of h. The ball possesses potential energy and energy possesses by the ball is calculated by the formula, product of mass of the ball, gravitational pull or gravitational constant, 9.8, and height from the surface of the earth. Hence the potential energy possessed by the ball m multiply g multiply h. Principle of Conservation of Energy the energy possesses by a body is always remains constant and no energy is externally supplied and taken away from the body. But the energy stored in the body is transformed from one form of energy to another form. This principle of energy is known as the conservation of energy. Sources of energy Sun is the primary source of energy for all living organism. Plants require M energy for making food for themselves, which gives the energy to the plant for their internal activity. We know that all living organisms directly or indirectly depend on the plants, hence the plants are the source of energy for rest of the living organism electricity. Wind and water are also the source of energy, which are used for the generation of electricity. Depending upon the availability of different sources of energy, it can be classified into two types, renewable and non-renewable source of energy. Renewable sources of energy. The sources of energy which are constantly replenished by nature are called renewable sources of energy. For example, sun, wind and water. Non-renewable sources of energy. Some sources of energy require millions of years to be formed. These sources of energy are called non-renewable sources of energy for example, fossil fuel. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.